Is the map done? The more often you ask, the longer it will take. So, there are still new folks turning up here, eh? Well, watch yourself around the Inquisition. What do you mean? I mean, careful where you step, or you'll be up to your eyes in shit before you know it. They're crazy types, you know. Worshipping a flame. Who are you? I'm Edgar, head of the town guard. Or at least I was. Until the Inquisition took over and pushed Esteban out. I wasn't his biggest supporter, I admit, but at least he was local. What should I know about Harbour Town? No, eh? Just watch your step. You never know who's throwing their weight about from one day to the next. And mind that Harbour Warehouse. Go near it, and people think you're stealing from there. Let's just say it makes the Inquisition twitchy. What do you mean, twitchy? Legal system here is simple but effective. Steal something, we beat the crap out of you. Hurt our citizens, kill our animals, we beat the crap out of you. And if you kill someone... You beat the crap out of me? Exactly. And then we kill you. Anything else I should know? There's still plenty of trouble you can cause folks, without us making with the beatings. Of course, people probably won't talk to you after. So how do I avoid the silent treatment? Don't cause trouble in the first place. What if trouble just happens? Then that sort of happens to be your problem. You must be a trained fighter. I swear by the sword and the crossbow. Sword for when they're close, and crossbow if they try and run. Can you train me? Train you? Sure, it'll give me something to do. But I can't be letting you have my skills for free. There must be a way to soothe trouble over. Hmm. Apparently the mages know a spell. A joke spell, a jest spell. Seriously? Yeah. It's supposed to make a person feel like they've just been told the best joke in the world. And how does that help? And they forget whatever was troubling them. Where can I get this spell? A mage, maybe. Plenty in the monastery. Bunch of backstabbing betrayers, the lot of them. Allying with the Inquisition. Could be one knocking around town somewhere. Why don't you train the recruits? Let's say that me and the Inquisition don't see eye to eye on the law. I see it as flexible. Why arrest every piddly little criminal? But the Inquisition don't turn a blind eye to anything. So they got one of my former guards, Eric, to oversee the recruits. He's a master and treats them decent, too. Although he seems a little preoccupied lately. No. I'm not giving you anything. 
Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Don's men. Nothing gets past you, does it? So, what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum-sucking white-robed bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. And now, now, Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. What do you know about Commandant Carlos? Warrior of the Inquisition. A slimy, filthy bog slug who happens to be the new lord of the town. He and his guards represent the law, but they behave like there are no laws at all. May they drown in the fifth hell. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. Because you'll find and gut me if I fail. You know what you'd be getting into. Don Esteban hates people who try to cheat him. And so do I. I could work for you. This here is the Fat Cat's quarter. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white robe bastards are everywhere, and they see everything. So how does it work here? Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else for me. What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant, brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. How does the Bruegel weed get into the town? You don't need to know that. What if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, they're complete. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. Somebody's paying him. You follow Garth when he delivers the wheat packages. And when he meets his partner, you grab both of them. You want me to do that alone? I'd gladly break their ratty bones with you, but the white robe pigs won't let me out of their sight. What do I get if I bring you the packages? Money. It's always about money. Bring me what I want, and I'll show you how we separate rich merchants from their property. Is that all? We'd be prepared to trust you more as well. That guard, Marcelo, is determined to nail me. He mustn't get the packages. The pig botherer. What would happen if Marcelo got the packages? The stinking brute would hound me for all eternity. Everyone in the town knows we control the weed trade. And with the packages as evidence, Marcelo would be on me like swamp fly. Not a pretty thought. That's why you have to find the packages and give them to me. I'll follow Garth. Good. Garth works across from here in the alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. He's a nervous sort. I'm ready to follow Garth. Garth's leaving. Give him a bit of a head start, then follow him. Keep your distance, but don't let him out of your sight. If anything goes wrong, come back. Got it?
sweetheart. How about I make a real man of you? Once you get some lily loving, you'll never look back. How much will that cost me? Oh, when I'm finished with you, you'll feel like bathing me in gold. But a couple of gold coins will do for starters. Good. Let's go. Then follow me. Let's set you a course for heaven. Well, here we are. So, here we are. You just relax and get yourself comfortable and let me work my magic. Well now, can't you rock the boat better than any storm? Right. Any time you want to set my sails, you know where to find me. Yep. Don't be a stranger. I'm sure you've got things to do. Your girl Lily is working for herself. What? How do you know that? I just do. The little witch. I'll soon set her straight. From now on, if you want one of my girls, you pay me. Got it? I wish I had the spare time you seem to have. I lost Garth. Well, that's a screw-up. So what can I do now? Right. Think. We haven't lost yet. Garth will still meet with his partner. You have to find him. Where should I look? Probably somewhere in the gutters. In a house, in a hideout. Look for him in the gutters. Do you sell potions? I do indeed. Quality product, quality potions. Everybody buys from Leonardo, except for those tight wads who go to bed with every little injury. Their pain is not my gain. So, you do business with the Don? What makes you say that? That's not important. What's important is that I know. I process a few plants. No harm in that. The Inquisition won't like it. I can't see them being interested. Not really. If this is because you need potions, maybe we can deal. But don't try threatening me. How's business? Can't complain. Everyone wants to feel healthy, eh? You won't find many people who'll sell your potions in this town. And you can't leave the town. But I'm running out of supplies. When they're gone, they're gone. What supplies do you need? Healing plants, healing roots, and healing herbs. Pretty much the ingredients you need for a healing potion. What would you pay if I got you those supplies? I can't pay gold. No, no. I need every coin. But I can trade you a potion for plants. It'd have to be a good potion. I'll make it a life energy potion, right? Make you tough and resistant. And don't try coming with any old ripped-up weeds. I know what I need. How many plants do you need? Ten healing herbs, five plants, and two roots would do. I'll see what I can find. Good. And while you're here, I'm open for business, if you want to buy. Garth stole some of the Don's goods. What? Garth? I warned him about tangling with the Don. I assume you've taken care of things. Here. Take a healing potion. A thanks for smoothing this over. I have the plants you want. Excellent. Pleasure doing business. Here's the potion I promised. What potions do you have?
Now who could teach me to pick locks? The lesser herbarium. And what are you doing creeping about round here? Let me guess. You're lost, right? Just taking in the sights. Yeah, right. Just don't be thinking you can take me in. I'm not the gullible sort. I don't know you. Make sure I don't need to get to know you. I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker prisoner. That's right. And he's staying here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. About this treasure seeker. What is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker. He's a treasure stealer. And he's gonna stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. Isn't there a way you can forget all this and let him go? Are you trying to bribe me? Until Carrasco tells me differently, no one is going in there. And Ulf isn't setting foot outside until I know what's happened to these three bowls he got his hands on. Have you had problems with the Don's men? Of course. They're just waiting for the chance to snatch the town back from the Order. Take a look at that guy skulking across the street. Goes by the name of Tony. Isn't the sharpest tool in the box. He's been hanging around for days. Thinks I haven't noticed. He's scoping the place out waiting for a chance to break in. Someone needs to curb his curiosity, but I can't leave my post. I'll sort Tony out. That would be appreciated. He isn't a pretty sight to look at all day, although I would be interested to know what he's after. Another new face. Welcome to the Merchant District. Are you looking for work or trade? Do you have work? We need all the help we can get. Any help in particular? The outlaws here are staying undercover. But they're still pursuing their dirty business. So I've heard. I'm certain Weasel is still one of the Don's men, but he spends all day sitting on a bench. So? Weasel is no saint. He used to run a protection racket here before the Don left. He's not doing that if he's sitting on a bench. A spider sits in its web, but it's still got murder on its mind. He's planning something, but I need evidence to stop him. You're new here. If you could talk to him, gain his trust. See if you can get evidence of his misdeeds. I'll see what I can do. Good. Good. Weasel is trying to trace some Bruegelweed packages. Hmm. If we could get those packages, they'd be exactly the evidence I need. Hey, how are you? Hush. Don't make such a noise, or we'll both get arrested. What's going on here? Hush, not so loud. The white robe back there is starting to notice. Hernandez realizes I'm watching the Don's old house. We're screwed. You're working for the Don. <laughs> You've just realized. Yeah, I have orders from the Don. And when he gives orders, you obey. Thing is, I could use some help. Sounds like you're no fan of the Inquisition. Yeah, and that bastard Hernandez has settled over there by the entrance and made himself comfortable. Looks like he's happy to spend the rest of his life guarding it, damn it. And I sit out here like an idiot, rain or shine. What is it you need to do? There's an old family heirloom of the Dons in the house, a golden amulet. If the white robes get their hands on it, they'll take it to their stupid monastery, and the Don will kill me. And I mean kill me! Wake me up, and kill me again! 
Where is this amulet? The Don mentioned a secret room accessed by a hidden switch behind a picture. But how is anyone supposed to find the room in that huge house while the white robes are buzzing around? Tell me about the Don's old house. It's that big building over there, but the white robes are in there, and they never leave. If you want to break in, you'll have to do it at night. Some of them will be asleep then. You want to steal from the white robes? Steal? They came storming into Harbour Town, taking anything they want. The house and everything in it belong to Don Esteban. I'm just going to return what already belongs to him. Right. I'll get you the amulet. Okay, but be smart. Esteban will kill us both if Hernandez gets his hands on it. Who could teach me to pick locks? Yeah. How are you? How's business? Busy. But since the Inquisitor's laws were passed, I've been up to my neck in work. Alvaro hardly leaves me any time to sit down with a beer. Seriously, I can't remember the last time I slept. Tell me something about Alvaro. I need to work. Can't work all day. Take a break. And who'll do my job? You? I can give it a try. <laughs> Alvaro would love that. Me getting any old person to do my job. Or he'd be glad for his smith to get some rest. What makes Alvaro glad is chests bulging with gold. Alvaro's really working you to the bone. Sign of the times. Everyone in this town wants a weapon. Or wants a weapon sharpening. Still, it will be over at some point. I'm looking to buy a new weapon. Do you sell weapons? Love to, but I can't. Alvaro handles all the selling. Do you sell sword blanks? Normally, but since the business with the ruins, I can't get any more raw materials. Maybe I can help. Maybe. If you can get me iron ore, I can make you sword blanks. Can I help you in some other way? Maybe. I am having supply problems. I'm always short of something. Mostly I need old metal that I can melt down to make blanks. Some old scrap metal would make my work a lot easier. Where can I get some scrap metal? The farmers left a lot of old scrap metal lying around in their yards. Old tools, nails, that sort of thing. But then gnomes rummage around out there. They steal everything that isn't nailed down. I bet they've also stolen all that old scrap metal from the farmers. Could be. I'll get some old metal for you. But you can't get out of the town. I'll manage. That would be great. I'll pay you for it, of course. I'll take whatever you can bring.
I'll take a wild guess. You want a weapon? I have a couple for sale, if you tell me what you're after. Show me what you have. Your smith's a hard worker. Lots of work means lots of profit. We're about the only ones doing well here. So we have to take the work while we can. Your smith looks like he's about to collapse. Walter? He's as strong as an ogre. Even ogres fall over at some point. I'm not a tyrant, you know. But the work has to be done. Who can help you with those jobs? There are a couple of servants here in the merchant's quarter. If you can find them and pay them to work for me, that'll take the strain off Walter. Here's a bag of gold for the servants. It doesn't get delivered, I'll know. Harbour Town is a small place, and the gates are sealed. Does this mean Walter will get a break? As soon as he's finished Marcello's blade, he can stop. I have some iron ore for you. Well, what do you want made from it? Hey, you. You looking for a job? Might be. What do you want doing? Alvaro needs some wood chopping. Yeah, all right. I'll get started. Hey, are you looking for some work? What? Alvaro has some work needs doing. The old man sent you. What does he want? He needs some blades sharpening. That suits me. The servants he wanted are now at work. Excellent. You've earned my trust. Keep the rest of the gold. Very generous. It was a fair wage. If you want to beg for more money, sniff round Master Belshur in the gutters. Good news. Oh, what's that? Alvaro says you can take a couple of days off. That doesn't sound like him. You just need to finish the blade staff for Marcelo. I've already finished the staff. It's been in the cellar for a while. Alvaro's really got the hots for getting this delivery. Well, thanks for your help. If you need anything... Maybe another time. Thanks for the break. Did me the power of good. One hand washes the other. I need your help. What's up? Do you also work on artifacts? Whoa. If you found something, you have to hand it in. I do. Do you know what the Order will do to you if you keep artifacts? You'll get recruited and bang. Straight to the monastery. I can take care of myself. It won't just be you. I work on an artifact, I'll be in the same boat. And I'm not having that. 
I'm just a smith, remember? Can you teach me anything? If you're ready, I'll teach you the art of smithing. About the blade staff for Marcello. The one I forged? Yes. Why is it so important? Alvara wants to use this gift to make an important friend in the Order. He'll be keeping that blade staff safe then. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But? Alvara wears the key for the chest on his belt. But the cellar lock, it's old and rusty. A child could pick it with a piece of wire. That's Alvaro. Won't even pay for a new lock. Why is it you want to know? None of my business, but maybe I can help. What else can you tell me? I can tell you Alvaro tends to creep around the house at night. Sleepless man. Probably up, counting his earnings. How would someone get into the cellar? In theory, as quietly as possible. And if Alvaro is awake, wait until he's not around. Stop. Not one step further. Tony wants to steal something from the house. Oh, yes. What would that be? He has orders to retrieve an amulet, one of the Don's heirlooms from the house. Hmm. What's so special about this amulet? It's made of gold. The islands are washed with gold these days. There must be more to it than just the gold. But we turned the house upside down and no one found a gold amulet. I think I can find the Don's amulet. Oh, really? Yes. And if Tony fails to get hold of it, He'll have to disappear from town. And you think the amulet has to be in this house? But we've searched it. But what if you missed it? You think your eyes are better than ours, huh? Well, go on then. Step inside. Let's put them to the test. If you're looking to buy something, you'll have to talk to comrades. I'll just work here. You don't sound too happy about that. My family's been selling our harvest to comrade for years. When we lost everything in the troubles, he said he'd take us in. In? He makes us sleep outside. What happened to you? You must know what terrible things have befallen this island. All those ruins bursting from the ground. Some of them rose in the middle of our farm and the Inquisition said we had to leave. But my sons, my sons are still out there somewhere. They all went their own way before these creatures came. I hardly get a wink of sleep worrying about them. Do you know where they are? Do you know where my sons are? I have no idea. If you hear anything or meet someone who's been outside, please don't forget to ask about them. Please. Can't your husband help? Ingvar? Huh. We're in dire straits, and he's drinking the last of our gold in the tavern. Tell me about Conrad. His house is full of supplies, but he won't share them with you if that's what you're after. He didn't lift a finger to help us when they took our cows to be slaughtered, and we've known him for years. Who took your cows? The Inquisition. Said they needed to feed people. But now how do we feed ourselves? Of course, Conrad talked to Carlos and got his cows spared. What are your sons called? Beppo's the oldest. He didn't want to come to town with us. Always ran with the wrong crowd. I worry he's fallen in with the Don's gang. William volunteered for military service with the Inquisition. And Leon, my youngest, just took off in the night. I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't get your hopes up. How much is the information worth to you? I... I don't have any gold. But... If you do manage to leave the town... Yes? I have a little put aside for a rainy day. There's a couple of skins and the silver candle holders from my great-grandmother. I buried them behind the barn of our farm. Which is your farm? The farm on the path to the monastery. An Inquisition fighter named Severin is in charge there now. I met your oldest son, Beppo. 
Is he all right? I worry so about him. Yes, he's alive. He has a job in the ruins. But isn't that terribly dangerous? Don't worry, he's not alone. He has some strong fighters by his side. If you want it, I've got it. If you're here to buy, welcome. If you're here just to look or to beg, get out. I'm trying to run a business. Show me your goods. So, you won't let Tilda into your house? Did she tell you that? The old witch. I give her food and room and all she does is whine. Why don't you just let her sleep inside? It's no business of yours who I let in my house. Don't just stand around. Be off with you. Holt, you're not coming in here. Commandant Carlos has summoned me. I know. I've been expecting you. Then are you going to let me in? Wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. What's this building? It's our guardhouse, and the headquarters of Carlos, the Commandant of the town. How did you become a warrior of the Order? I volunteered. Conscripts usually get sent to the temple ruins after training. I'd rather take guard duty in town any day of the week. They actually tried to make me become a mage. A mage? <laughs> I mean, really? All that messing around with magic. It's not natural. Who could teach me to now who could teach me to pick locks? Who could teach me to pick locks? There's something here about magic. Ah, there you are. It's about time. You know me. This is a small island. We've got used to refugees, but they still stand out. Question is, are you a spy for Don Esteban? Someone seeking to join the Order of the Flame? Or something else? So, why don't you tell me what you want in this town? I'm volunteering to join the Order. Hmm, is that so? Well, let me explain how things work here. In this town, Inquisitor Mendoza's law prevails, and I see that his law is followed. 
Every troublemaker and criminal who tries to break the law will be punished. Those who aid the civic cause and help to keep the peace will be rewarded. How can I help you? I need loyal men to ensure this town stays within the law. We are working for order, for the common good. But there are criminals, outlaws, who would destabilize what we have achieved. What is your role in this town? To defend it, to keep order, to protect the citizens in the Order's care. That is my duty to the town. My duty to the Order and humanity is to make sure the artifacts we find are shipped to the monastery. The temples that rose from beneath the ground are full of artifacts. And every petty thief on this island is trying to steal them. The Inquisitor has commanded that all artifacts are to be taken to the monastery. People think he wants them for money. But I sense he sees a link between these artifacts and the disasters that have befallen us. He is seeking a clue to our salvation. We must gather these artifacts. We must convey them safely to the monastery. We must see that the Inquisitor is able to proceed with his business. What about these outlaws you mentioned? Before the Inquisition came, Don Esteban had great influence in this town. But when we arrived here, he retreated. Now this bandit king is hiding somewhere beyond these walls. Without him, his people are disorganized. As long as their numbers remain manageable, they have no power, though they remain an irritant. If we are to stop them becoming more than that, we must remain alert. Why did the Inquisitor come to this island? Contact with the mainland is lost. We have heard nothing from our other outposts. If we were to lose the Holy Hall, lose the Holy Flame as well. But maybe, maybe the temples that rose from the earth here hold secrets that can help us understand what is happening. To that end, we gather everything we find in the ruins. We must hope the ancient temples here hold secrets of the past that can help us build a future. What future do you see for Harbour Town? What future for the world, for this island? Those things are in the hands of the Inquisitor. For us, we must keep this town safe for its citizens. Keep it a haven for refugees. Keep these honest people safe from the dangers without and within. Once we have done that, we must look to feed the people, find ways to survive until we have word from the mainland. Why are the people being held prisoner in this town? Prisoner? Have you been beyond the walls here? Seen the bandits, the creatures that roam this island? How many of the farmers and shopkeepers here could defend themselves against them? Do you know how many have died foolishly grubbing for gold and paying for it with their lives? Everyone who is safely within the walls of this town should be glad. We are protecting them, seeing to their needs. Only criminals are held prisoner. I see. I will help you keep the law in this town. <clears throat> then root out the outlaws. Find those on the streets of my town that do not fit with the Order's plans, who do not seek the common good. Confront them and see to it that they can do no harm. My guards will help you. If you wish to join the Order, then do your duty and I will see to it that you advance. Captain Romanoff's gold has been secured. Excellent. I thought he would take the mystery of the gold's location to his grave. Good work. About the Don's followers. Sid was tough, but he won't be a problem for you any longer. Sid? He has long been a thorn in my side. I'll be glad to see the back of him. Here, please take this gold as a reward. About the Don's followers. Delgado was collecting protection money in the gutters. I've stopped him. The Don has long been sowing discord and disquiet there. It is well you have stopped Delgado from worsening things.